Hey y'all, it is Justine with Educator Aid, and I wanted to do this quick video on how to leverage Gemini or the AI tools of Google that are very rapidly coming online. So I have a little project that I've been working on, very into roses and flowers, and also a gardener of flowers. So that is the account that you're going to see as I share my screen. So as you log into your Google profile, um, and nowadays many of you might have multiple Gmail accounts and or Google Drives and other features you can use. So in the meantime, by the way, hit subscribe if you find this information helpful or you would like more short videos like this. Feel free to comment below if you're like, hey, teach me the tools and tricks of how to use slicers in Google Sheets in Google Drive, then please comment below. I do have a lot of other resources free and also paid very low cost um, on a couple different platforms coming out specifically with this branch of learning connected to artificial intelligence or AI. So let's hop into it. You can notice that this is a brand new Google profile. There's no history, there's no shortcuts or anything. When you are logged in, so this profile is for one of my Gmail accounts and you can see that I have it logged in. And if you're unfamiliar with the Google apps, you're simply going to click this grid at the top to be able to click on all these bells and whistles. That's what I was talking about. So if you're like, hey, how do you do this on YouTube? How do you do this on Meets? Put in the comments some questions you have and I will do my best over time to answer them and create short videos to address your learning needs. So all that I did was simply log into my Gmail account. It's going to ask you if you want to customize your profile and sync this. I personally do so that I can also access my same history and different things on my phone. And I do use Apple. I was a long time 20 plus year Droid user. Uh, had to, uh, my, my laptop failed probably four or five years ago, switched to a MacBook Pro, and then within two years, I then shifted to iPhone because, well, the sharing, the AirPlay, all the stuff, I just love it. Okay, so down here in the right corner where you see create theme with AI, you're simply going to click on that. And then you can go through here and again, they're very clear to say this is experimental. We won't always get it right. So please be patient as with anything with tech as it evolves and in life, <laughs> be patient as you explore and have fun. There's no right or wrong, it's all to your taste. Right now they have a few key subjects that you can choose from. For mine, I chose nature and then I specifically wanted flowers. So for mine, I also then for the style that you're seeing here, I chose watercolor, the mood that I chose was romantic. And you can see it's going to save at the bottom here, your recent AI themes. So <clears throat> I also went to the color picker and I wanted more of this pink tone. So I just slid it to the right, nothing fancy, but say that I wanna to shift to more of a deep orangish type red. I'm going to select that. I'm also gonna click here to inspiration. So down here, you can also click on these for inspiration and it will influence how your customized photo is developed by artificial intelligence. For me, environment's important. Gathering my brain early in the morning is a very good practice for me as a writer, as a person who loves to be outside. So I'm learning how to marry these different concepts of not only my work life, but my personal life. Okay, so here we go. I think that I've shown you any of the steps here, pretty straightforward, and we're just gonna hit create. Let's see what pops up. It doesn't mean we have to use it. it doesn't mean we can't try again. That's the fun of exploring it. And this one, oh, that's beautiful. So this is a sunrise and we also have some roses and I could select this as my background. Uh, decisions, decisions, because this was my other one that I generated before I came on with you all. Ooh, I do love a great watercolor and I love my flowers. I think I'm gonna stick to the roses. Let me know in the comments, your questions, your thoughts. If you run into any hiccups and you need help, Again, just comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure that you also subscribe to the Educator Aid channels and we will do our best to keep you informed. And as we create more courses for the AI portion of Educator Aid and help you expand your own teaching and learning abilities through tools like artificial intelligence and other tech platforms, join us, experiment, have fun and tell us about your learning, all your questions, everything. 
Thanks so much. Much love. Take care. Until next time.